You know what they say, the best things in life are free, so is this flowboard generator that lets you generate flows for your apartments or Acvis scenes in Blender. And uh, I'm going to leave a link uh, to this forum uh, where you will see how people are using uh, this generator. I'm also going to dive in, into Blender just to show you how to use it. It's one of the best add-ons uh, to generate flows really detailed flows and with different patterns you can see how you can even randomize uh, the rotation of your flows give them materials and it's completely uh, free for you to download i'm going to leave a link uh, to this forum where you can uh, follow the discussion on how this idea came about to generate uh, this free board generator maybe you can also serve an, as an inspiration for you to create your own add-ons yeah so let's dive in into blender just to show you how this add-on works yeah this is uh, one of the flows i've generated and uh, you can see it's completely procedural and i can change uh, the, the parameters anytime any moment i want and uh, yeah here i have other materials unfortunately the materials are not set up for you but uh it's very they are very simple to set up i'll just go into the details of it you can see i'm using a pbr uh, material but uh, with a few tweaks uh, to make it look uh, just amazing and uh, because the uvs are also procedurally generated i can easily switch uh, the pattern i can see i'm switching it from uh, the general pattern i'm going to show you how to set up the plugin uh, from start to finish but i just wanted to showcase uh, these uh, so you have a few other patterns you can try i have there is this square pattern and uh, if the uvs are not that interesting uh, you can always go back down here uh, there is a few sets of uvs uh, you can generate and uh, we also have this uh versailles pattern so you can see you can generate a bunch of different patterns for you so if you go to uh this link i'm going to be leaving it in the description you can just go to uh download and download the zip file then set it up uh, like any regular add-on go to preferences uh, add-ons install and then install uh, the add-on it will be available in the tools panel so you just hit n and you find the flow generator and uh, the way it works let me delete this I just you just have to add something like a plane and then convert at flow board i see the default pattern we get has changed the scale and uh, now for the materials if you add a new material and uh I recommend you use some PBR materials because because they have different maps uh, that are going to be useful here uh, for the reflections and uh, some bump details. So I'm just going to get some PBR materials from cz0textures.com, which is a free uh, resource uh, for textures. Uh, so I'm just going to use Ctrl Shift T uh, to get other materials I'm using here. So I'm just going to select everything here, and uh, uh, the Node Wrangler add-on will set up uh, the materials for me. Now. Let me first get an HDRI environment image just so we have something to reflect. So you can see how the flowboard looks, and uh, but uh, the textures don't follow uh, the direction of these uh, uh, of these uh, patterns, and I want them to follow that. So to do that, just scroll down in your uh, add-on and uh, go to UV Random and start playing where uh, start playing with these. Uh, of the patterns here so there is shuffle i think shuffle is the one to use it makes uh the uvs or the texture follow uh, the direction of the wooden patterns uh, so now but you see that uh the wooden flow is has a uniform color so and uh, that's not what i want so uh the fortunately uh the add-on also generates vertex colors uh, that uh, have random colors to them so if you go to shift a input vertex color you see that uh, a new vertex color is generated uh, for the planks or for uh, for your flow uh, that gives you the same pattern and uh, if we switch this around is it this you can see that uh, each pattern also gets a, a different uh, vertex uh, paint so we can use this uh, if i can mix this so if i add a color mix rgb uh, color mix rgb i can mix uh, the base color with this uh, 
vertex color but i'm using the alpha as color too and i can see that is going to give me uh, some variation in the color and i can just use this as a multiply uh, to just give some variation in the color of the pattern of the patterns or planks and uh, then i can fit that as uh, the base color now and you should see that uh, we have yeah we have generated some random some randomness uh, let me first turn off this and uh, just increase uh, the scale to something like 10. yeah so we have managed to uh, to vary uh, the color but uh, we also need to add some roughness uh, some random roughness uh, so what we can do you can import a grind map texture so and i'm going to blend it with this so bring this as color two so that is on top of whatever we had before i think color band should work better add a color a convert color ramp in between this reduce on the contrast of the roughness map add a math node after that just to control the overall our roughness we are getting a bit better surface reflections you can see what we have and uh, that's it thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video again all the links are going to be added in the description uh, if you want to download the add-on uh, don't forget to leave a like subscribe see ya in the next tutorial